Hello fellow survivors, we're back here in Crumbling Highway, or rather the mine to Crumbling Highway. Back to Coastal Highways where we're going, because uh, we're done with Desolation Point, and we got our stuff to bring back. And uh, we need to repair some clothing. Wait, am I carrying all fish? Oh, I don't think I want to carry that. I think it's... well, we can see. And um, we need to really repair this, if we are able to at all, of course. We're gonna see if we can do that. So we're gonna head to the garage and go from there. Might grab some bunnies on the way. Might actually map this quickly. There we are, nice. And then we're gonna go back inside. I wonder if I can drop any of this gear. And I wonder if we can sleep for one hour. Can we sleep for one hour? Yeah. Warm up and also um, get some energy. Hopefully the weather will be a bit warmer. There we go. Okay. We don't actually have any... I have one right here too. Okay, that's fine. Over here there is a house that's always burned down. Oh, this is new. This didn't used to be there. Oh, the loot refresh. And sometimes there's toolboxes here. Not today though. Hmm, I think I have enough health to take on this wolf if I have to. Check out this mine first, or this uh, cave rather. Anything in here? No, just wood it seems. I'm not sure I can carry this okay, can I get past? No. Okay, I think we'll kill this wolf then. Yeah, he gave up. Okay, so let's drop this and map in here while we warm up a bit. Yeah, look at that. I don't know where the wolf is, I want my usual arrows for this. I really like the grass here in uh, Crumbling Highway. I don't know how many rabbit pelts I have back there, so I'm going to grab a few. Yeah. It's going to attract wolves, but that's okay. <laughs> You can warm up in the Harris home again. I need to find some place to escape. To Harvest this little little rabbit. And it would be nice to repair the stuff rather than creating new ones. Oh, that's not a big deal. Let's uh, go in here. This pack is getting kind of heavy. And we already looted this, I believe. Yeah. So what we're going to do now then is harvest the rabbit. do the hide first with our hands so that takes the same amount of time if he's fresh then the hands takes the same amount of time as the knife use the knife for the guts and then for the meat uh six minutes 16 all right we need to warm up anyway so 16 is fine there we go and now we smell <laughs> that's all right uh, let's eat this. Okay. 
we go. I only actually need some more water. Oh, we're fine. There we go. And then let's leave again. We could check the coast, but because I smell so much, I'd rather not. If I was full health, maybe. And it was a bit warmer. Let's check over here. Sometimes there's like a sapling over here. I don't see any this time though. I love this grass. Really nice visuals. Okay, I think we're done here. No. Sound like a wolf, but I think it was just. What's that all the way over there? Just some ice, okay. There are quite a lot of flare shells. I only used with one, I think. So the flare situation is looking pretty good. Run a little bit because it's kind of cold. Yeah, I think we should head straight to the garage. And then resituate ourselves there. And establish that as a regional base as well. We got a bit more coastal highway exploring to do. Primarily the western parts and some of the upper parts. We need to explore those. People often ask why I leave behind these things, like the rose hips and the reishi. That's well, because they're very rarely needed. I mean, I have found medicine as well, but it's also that um, um, I don't generally speaking need them. And if I were to need them, if for example, um, to see, I've looked in the ice if I see anything. If I were to need them because, um, say, I get moose stomped or something like that or infection then by leaving them around you kind of have a supply of them available all over the place you can kind of just go out or uh, say a um say i need a reishi tea i can just go out and find one because most of them have been left on on the on the plant let me go up here to check so i don't mind leaving them behind as opposed to cooking them and leaving them in the base, just because then they will spread around. This is a typical place that I very rarely venture to, but we're going to go ahead just for the sake of mapping, really. Wait, I'm so cold. I'm, I'm cold though, but we're going to warm up soon. I'm going to warm up. Oh, about the map up here. Some cold damage, but it's okay. Hmm. Nothing to it. I wonder if I can drop any of this gear. Let's head home. Not much up here, as you can see. <laughs> That's worth checking. Why can't I? There we are. Just in case there's something hidden up here. Like a bunker or something. I haven't learned what the bunkers are anyway. I would map more of this, but uh, because I'm cold, I think we'll wait to do that. And now I'm just checking. And we're going to head home and warm up. Oh, the bear is out. Uh, I don't think we need to kill him yet. He can smell me, see? He can detect me already. Look at this. Now he gave up. Picked us back up. And now he's interested again. 
<laughs> smell me from pretty far away. And I'm gonna head back and I'm gonna recover a bit because I don't have much health. Should be fine. We'll recover a bit in the garage and go from there. I would like to repair these uh, rabbit mittens. We have to see. I might have to go collect some rabbits just to store them here. There are some rabbits by uh, Jack Rabbit Island and Misanthrope Island and. There are some near here. I think they're uh, up top. A wolf has spotted me already. Doing the term. not. <laughs> and so the fire hardened arrows are for, in my opinion, an interloper at least, they're only really for this. Uh, shooting at wolves to make them run away from you before they detect you. The arrows didn't break so you collect those but the fire hardened arrows are basically renewable because the only thing you need to make them is uh, feathers and sticks and both of them respawn. But the regular arrows these ones need saplings and metal, so they're not renewable, at least not in the same sense. I'm gonna get the distress pistol out because no health and there's wolves around. And I always do a check here to see if the moose is around. Just in case. Doesn't seem like it. Let's drop some uh, raw meat here. No moose, no. Okay. We can take though a couple of these. There we go. And now we need these things as well. <laughs> All right, so let's see. I don't think I have any rabbit pelts, do I? No, we're gonna have to put, put this here, I think. So this might get ruined, the rabbit clothing. Oh, it's my bow condition. 46, that's all right. That's cured. Does that need... Uh, this kind of needs repairing soon. I would like to make the... Um, the bear... Uh, bed rolled up. Okay, let's see what else. Right, let's organize the inventory a bit here. The books. Uh, we can read the sewing book. Let's put some meds in here. Yeah, that can just expire, I guess. Uh, soul crackers can stay in here. We can put, put the cans in here. Put that in there. Actually, we might make that. Got an extra pie bar. Wires. And let's put, not all of these in, but like, let's keep nine. I think that's all right. Okay, let's make the arrow first. There we go. Extra arrow. And we do need water. I might actually make a fire in here just to make water. You can also cook these things, but it's not really necessary. I would like to repair this actually. 
Might do that now. Yeah, let's do that now. <clears throat> then we go here, we grab this, the toolkit. And we grab one of these. And we can repair it. There we go. Anything else? I guess we need to sharpen some stuff, but okay. Yeah, this really needs repairing. <laughs> I am tempted to go and get some rabbits first. Maybe that would be better. The only thing is, um, I don't have much health. It might be warm enough outside though. I think I might check. I think there are some rabbits up top. Let's just go check. It's a bit cold. I don't think there are some rabbits over that way. And there are some rabbits, I think, up above the trailers. Let's just go check. Be nice to have a little rabbit supply so I can repair my stuff and also in the event that they do break I can um, make new ones. In every regional base I try to always have at least one bear hide ready to repair the bear coats and I try to have at least like three rabbit hides because you need to repair two things with those and then also a deer hide or two. The wolf hides are not that important, but at least have a little bit. It's always good. This? I was going to say. <laughs> not supposed to respawn, should it? There are other rabbits over here, I can never remember. There are some down the road though. I can grab some there, but let me just see. If not, they might be up there. I could just climb it. I think this is just the other road, isn't it? The oak. Don't see any rabbits here, no. I don't think so. No. Let's, uh, let's climb up here. We don't have much energy, but uh, it should be okay. It's not a very long rope, so I think, uh, I think it'll be okay. Well, I think actually, uh, I'm not sure you can go that way. If I get exhausted, it's fine. We can just sleep in one of the um, houses. It'll be alright either way. Normally, I don't climb this rope. This is one of those rare occasions where I've done it. But usually I don't climb this rope. It just goes up to the upper levels, that's all. Oh, it looks like we're just going to barely make it. <laughs> yeah, just barely. Rabbits here. rabbits up here but I guess not. I might drink a coffee. Make this a little bit easier. Okay in that case. Ah saplings though. I knew there was a reason to come up here. In that case we're gonna go to the little houses down there. Grab those rabbits and sleep there. Look at how I've already been to, yeah. Foggy. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna go down here instead. Because there's some rabbits by these houses. Don't think the bear is out 
yet. I don't think he's respawned yet. I could be wrong though. We like to make some more fire hardened arrows because they're kind of disposable arrows. We like to have them just to scare off wildlife from a distance. I think that's the main use of them, to be honest. Let's look at this scenery. This is gorgeous. The sun's going down. Do I have a... Don't. I'm going to have a herbal tea, but I don't have one. That's right, the next next night we sleep, we'll make one. Right, let's get these rabbits. There's also the Aurora Mine to explore. I'll we'll do that another time. We'll sleep here tonight. Yeah, we're here. There should be a couple of rabbits. I'm gonna build up the supply of rabbits in my base. That's the only drawback, really, of that base. The fishing cabins at least have rabbits nearby. There we go. Two rabbits here. The other one is there. Ooh. I definitely changed the textures of the rabbits. There we go, that's two. Nice. Okay, I think we'll sleep here. Oh. The sun is setting. It's gonna get a lot colder soon. All right. Okay. <laughs> Not much health. <laughs> I wouldn't recommend playing like how I do with solo health unless you absolutely know. Well, not what you're doing, but you know what you're about to do because. Um, I'm very low health, I'm cold, but I knew how far away a refuge was and I knew there weren't predators in the way. So I knew that even if I lost health through the cold, I would still be able to make it just fine. And in the event I ran into uh, someone, like a wolf or bear, I had this. So I was ready for it. But anyway, uh, if that was not the case, I would never have done that. We need to harvest this stuff. I think we're gonna do the whole thing with our hands. Now I'm going to do the same here. I really should have a herbal tea always ready. I thought I did, but I guess not. I don't want to use a match just yet. We don't have any birch either. No. Okay, so we'll heal normally this time. Okay, we're going to drop this to cure. There we go. And we're going to eat. Uh, oh, we didn't, of course. We'll eat this. And that. And a few of these. I like to always have 12 cattails on me. So if I eat more than 12, I always try and find some more. You put 10 hours. Alright. There we go. And I think eat these. Until I have 12, basically. And seeing as we are already this far west, I might continue exploring a little bit. And then cook the rabbits at some point on my way. I'm gonna smell because of the... Um... Okay. Let's, let's sleep two hours first. Because of all the stuff we're carrying, but that's all right. 
I can leave it to... I have to go to the fishing huts anyway to grab the bear hide. We can just go there. We're gonna go via... Uh, grab this also. We're gonna go via the western side. Okay, here we are. We're gonna go this way. We're gonna go to the, those bridges, and like those piers over there. Is my uh, western base, so to speak. Because I have a bear hide there. But while we're doing that, we're gonna go and check out a little bit of this nearby area. Pick up some more rabbits. How is this looking actually? 6%. Uh, it might actually be alright then. It's actually sunny, isn't it? Um, okay, then let's go get some rabbits or something. And we can light the fire. There should be some more rabbits out on the ice here, by the tooth, but there's also like a kind of campsite area up ahead. That should have uh, rabbits too. Check over here first. We can also check out uh, this corpse that's over here by the bridge. This leads up to the mines. There's some rabbits around the corner here up to where there's a cabin. And there should be, here's the bridge, there should be a corpse here, I think. I haven't looted. There's the tooth. Do I, That's I the tooth, this I'm thing. <laughs> What's this? Ah, I think I looted this guy. Might be here instead then, because normally that guy is here, yeah. He's under this bridge. Doesn't seem to be the case this time. Okay. In that case... Rabbits over there too. Mm, quite a lot of rabbits around. Not sure I checked this car either. Let's have a look. I have not checked this car. Right up. Okay. Okay. Here's my uh, western base. Now let's see, I think. Can I get up here? Because over here there's some rabbits too. By this kind of campsite thing. And of course there's loads over there by um, Jackrabbit Island. There's like three. And there's another three next to Misanthrope. So there's a load of rabbits there. But I'd rather go there later. But now I'm going to go over here to this campsite that's here. Well, it's not really a campsite. It's more like a picnic area, I guess. I think you should be able to get up here, yeah. Taking the unconventional route this time. <laughs> but here, this is what I was talking about. There's rabbits down there too. So here there's some rabbits, and I want to grab them. And I want to make a fire here while the sun is out. So we got two rabbits. Let's get these two. When you're behind the rabbits like this, it takes forever for them to detect you. Oops. Still missed though. 
Why this so fire hard and error? I never tried it. Wow. Going well today. Oh, did I run out of stones? <laughs> Seems like it. Oh, wow. One of those days. Let's grab some stones. And it's just, uh, I always try to do a kind of like an impatient throw. And if I then miss, then I do it patient. Like this. Gosh, the rabbits look so much better than they used to. Let's make a fire. After we kill this guy. Where'd he go? There he is. Wind's coming from the right. We'll put the fire behind this tree here. I see, they really changed the models. It looks so much better now. All right, so uh, let's put the fire here. And we'll cook the rabbits and also get some water and some other stuff. The good thing about trees is that it will protect you from the wind. But if the wind changes, you Mama can fire. usually grab a torch from a wind protected part of the tree and light a new fire. Happens all the time. There we go. Put a couple of these on. Let's just put these to cook. And let's put two liters on there. Okay. Let's start harvesting these. Go, let's eat that. And then harvest this one. That's done. I think this other piece here is very small. Yeah, two minutes. Let's eat that right away. How long for this? 21 minutes. Uh, in that case, do this and cook the tea. Oh, I don't have the water, of course. Okay. We'll do half a liter then. Yeah, roughly the same. Here we'll use the hacksaw for the meat. Same here, Axel. Drop it right away. This is now boiled, pretty much. Drink it. I'm gonna make another two liters. And let's put this on here. 25 minutes. Might as well grab the guts. Use a knife for that. And there we go, that's 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 all harvested and cooked. Nice, two minutes, I'll eat that. And then this too. And then let's a map here. Rabbit grow, yeah. Supply cash. This is a supply cash, exactly. Mm. Over here. Mm. Let's grab the saplings. <clears throat> These I always pick up whenever I see them if I can. Just have supplies ready for arrows. So, supply cache over here. Not sure exactly what that referred to. Um, hmm. I'll do it like this. Hmm. Yeah, 
And so as it's here, this is the tree, or like a loose, loose thingy, like the mementos or something, because I don't see anything here. Suppose it could be like a hidden cache, but I need a memento to open it, but I don't think there is one here. How oh, weird. Why would that show up when there is nothing there? strange not sure what that's about <laughs> oh well let's go back over here this is cooked eat that let's cook some teas also one minute to boiled let's make one liter and then we're going to make the birch tea I'm going to make a herbal tea. Actually, I'm going to make two because I'm going to use one. And then also one coffee. Don't think I have anything to craft. No. There we are. And then we can have a drink. We can take this fire with us. If possible, I'd like to get the charcoal from it. Get some good torches. These are none of these, none of these are good. Let's see here. Harvest this one. I'm just gonna pass time a little bit because I want the charcoal from this. Harvest this. Sounds like the wind is picking up. Yeah, and then charcoal, thank you. I'll take this and we're gonna head this way. Up to the rabbit grow we're gonna go. Keep collecting rabbits pretty much. <laughs> And we smell now, and there's a bear in our way. But that's okay. We're gonna head to that uh, picnic area. That's up here. Where there is um, a deer carcass. And some other things. And then there's a rabbit grove nearby. I'm just gonna collect a bunch of rabbits. Just to make sure that I have a bunch for repairs later. past the corpse. I thought I heard some um, crows. Nothing on him. Okay, let's head to the rabbit grow over here in the picnic area. You can also find coal here along the along the river. They, they prop up. So far, I notice I haven't used a single match so far. I've still been using oh, the saplings. I'm using uh, the maglens. That's the power of the maglens. So if you have the time to wait until the weather's better, maglens is great. Okay, up here there's rabbits, but before I grab those, I'm going to go to this campsite here. Oh, there's some rabbits here too, of course. I can grab these as well. If I drop my torch here, I will scare off the rabbits. So one way to avoid that is to just drop it via inventory like this. 
then they don't get scared. Oh, it's a bit difficult at an angle here. And this pack is getting kind of heavy. Where did he go? Can hear the the hut. <laughs> okay, where did he go? I think here he is. Yeah, there there he is. Deer carcass here, which we can uh, light a fire next to. Oh, there's an actual deer as well. Should be a backpack around here too. Not using the mega torch. There's usually at least one backpack around here, and there's usually a carcass as well. Doesn't seem like this either. Hmm. One of those runs. Bad RNG, I guess. Because there's usually a deer carcass, and then a container, and a backpack as well. Seems like there's none of that. We can make a fire anyway. Let's make it protected. So over here, for example, I think it's good. And we'll cook these rabbits. I could hunt this deer, but we don't really need to. We'll do that another time. Let's just make on Lito that harvest this with a hacksaw. Harvest this with a hacksaw. And let's grab the gut with the knife. You don't really need the guts because they're easy to get by the bears and moose and stuff, but just to be safe. Yes. They do lose condition when you put them in the snow like this. At least I want to attract predators this way. There you are. Half a liter. Grab this by the hands. Oh, looks like we have a blizzard on our hands. That's okay, it's boiled, so. I, can drop any of this gear. I was gonna do crafting, but what can you do? Okay. In that case, let's go into the uh, cabin that's up here. We can spend the night there. And we'll continue our exploration of the western side. And head all the way back to base. And we should have a bunch of rabbits. And deer hides would be good too. There we are. Rabbit Grove. I can't map this. There we go. 
can drop all our stuff here. There we go. And before we sleep, let's look around. I died in this cabin once. I was at low health and I uh, was recovering from a wolf attack. And I just went to sleep here and I looked like all the meters were fine. I just died for some reason. Okay, so before we sleep, uh, we can read this. No, it's already done. Oh, okay. So there's actually wood. Whoops. Oh. Well. In that case, I don't think there's anything to create, is there? No, I don't think so. Okay, we're just going to wait till it's been... So we can sleep for 10 hours. About here, I guess. And we're going to drink... Uh, this. Oh, wait, I didn't harvest this properly. Oh, that can wait. And then we have a normal drink. And now we should recover a lot more health to sleep. 10 hours. There we go, much better. Okay, let's grab this rabbit carcass. Where'd it go? There. And let's also have, let's eat this. A drink. And let's harvest this. I forgot to harvest that. And now it's gonna be very cold outside, but that's okay. Harvest this. I think because uh, actually we could go outside now because we might be able to get a sunlight because it's morning. It's going to be cold, like right, very I'm cold. Sure. We might get the sun. No. No. In that case. I'll leave the saplings for now. Last time for two hours. That. Sleep for one hour. And go from there. That's better. Take this. Map her also. Nice. Uh, one minor error I did there, not really an error as such, but uh, I mapped with the meat on me, which means I can attract a predator. Which uh, means I can get attacked while I do it. So that's not a very good idea. Okay, I'm gonna go this way. I saw some saplings here. There we are, might as well grab those. Ah, oh. corpse up here. That's new. And then we're going to take the shortcut down towards the Bear Creek, so it doesn't get we don't get attacked or cornered. So you can go this way. It's like a little uh, alternate route down towards the the sea. How's my condition here? Four percent. Might be able to repair them. It's better than crafting them again. So down here is a bear cave. Let's see if the bear is out. And there's often saplings there too. I can't 
can't feel my hands. Looks like we're okay this time. He may not have respawned either, because this is the same bear that you see out in the ice that I killed earlier. So he may not have respawned yet. Okay. Then we're gonna go up here, on this side. Because on that side there's a little hidden area. So go, go there. A little bit cold now, but that's okay. It's too cold. Think. Ooh, warmth. <laughs> We need to go kind of around to get up there. It's up there. Uh, actually, can we... I don't think we can go this way. Actually, it looks like they may have changed the terrain a little bit. Here to try. I don't think you used to be able to. You need to go all the way around to get up here. It looks like you maybe are able to now. Let's see. Yeah, I think so. Nice. Ow. Up here. Yeah, you can. Nice. Looks like we have Blizzard again. But up here, there's usually a backpack and a corpse. Okay. And I think we can wait. But because it's a Blizzard, I don't think I need to fix that sprain. Can yeah, it has a corpse. I think this corpse has the Polaroid. Okay, I guess not. <laughs> Let's grab this can. I never realized there's a can up here. Floating can. Let's have a quick look around here also because sometimes there's also a deer carcass and a backpack. I don't think it's a backpack though, I think I would have seen it by the corpse. Let me just check down here. Ah yeah, sapling. And there's very often a deer carcass around here. Not that. There it is, yeah. But we're not going to interact with it because there's a blizzard going on. Instead, we're going to go down to the fishing uh, cabins and wait out the blizzard there. We'll sleep for four hours because that way. I'll cure this sprain without using a bandage. Hmm. I need some first aid soon. Heading down here, we should find the road. That sparks a bit. And there should be a car here. We lose this car before. And let's just head to the fishing logs now. We're actually approaching the area that is the opening for this series. They're hard to recognize now in the uh, blizzard, but every episode starts with a little opening of um, little scenery, which is recorded right here. It's uh, more or less exactly this spot here, I think. Of course, it looks a bit different than the blizzard, you might say. <laughs> uh, there shouldn't be any animals out now, unless they were near me when the blizzard started. But we should be okay. We have the wind in our backs as well, so we're moving pretty fast. This should be no issue. No issue at all. A bit cold, that's alright. Next time we sleep, we'll uh, like a full night's sleep, we'll recover all that stuff. We can grab the bear hide while we're here, we'll have a little rest. 
think there's some bear meat here too. That sparks a bit. There we are. That's where we killed the bear. There's all our raw bear meat. It looks like this one. Eat that. No oh, stomach. What? Did I eat raw bear meat? I didn't actually look that close. Was that was that a raw piece? I just looked different. Because I shouldn't get food poisoning from eating uh, ruined bear meat. Hmm. Any of these? I mean, if you do, that will be good, though. <laughs> right, we're gonna stay here. Actually, in that case, we might as well stay here and sleep off this thing. I think I would prefer healing it, so let's do... Ah, let's use these, I think. Low condition, anyway. There we go. And um, drop all of this stuff. All right. yes, yeah, that's cured. Nice. Okay. And we can make the um, sleeping bag. All right. Because of that, we're going to sleep like 10 hours to get rid of this food poisoning right away. If you have food poisoning, you can sleep longer than you are normally able to because of the... Because of that, yeah. Because now it's night, it's the only thing. That's okay. I think we'll just leave even though it's night. I risk 75%. <laughs> I've also a raw piece then. It just it looked like a regular piece because it was brown. I didn't really look at it that much. And then I ate it. So that means that yeah, it was a raw piece of meat then. So now I have 75% chance of getting infected. Oof. Well. If that happens, we'll just deal with it. I'm gonna take all of this stuff with me. Over to, uh, I think, I drop any of this Jackrabbit gear. Island or something. Go. Yeah, I think we're right. I'm gonna smell to high heaven. That's okay. I was going to head up to this uh, other house over here. You can quickly check over here. I barely see anything. Tell you what, for you the viewer, let's light this lantern here. At least you can see something. Let's just see if there's anything that's spawned here. And we're going to head inside to um, Jackrabbit. You right click with the lantern like that. You can actually walk with it like this. You don't have the lantern in front. But if you do that, you can't actually sprint. And somebody asked me how I checked the sprint meter, see how I, I did that, if I didn't sprint. Uh, the way you do that is to walk sideways, so you turn, and you walk sideways instead, and you check. Right. You do it that way. Hey, sapling. Then you don't actually sprint.
But if I walk forward like this and then check, you'll see I actually drain it. But if I look walk sideways and check, it doesn't drain it. I'd rather not fight this wolf. We'll spend the night here. Wolfy. And we'll grab some more rabbits on the way home. And I think we're pretty good. Pretty golden with rabbit supplies. We need some more deer hides, uh, I suppose. But that's alright. Gotta stay in here. Or at least warm up here. Good, maybe go the misanthrope. Close. Let's just stay here. Okay, let's drop. Uh, I'll just look cured, okay. All of this then. There we go. And we're just gonna pass time. I don't think there's anything to create this then, no. We're gonna pass time so we can sleep. And we'll see if we get uh, parasites. If so, I have to start picking up the mushrooms. The odds that I get parasites is pretty high. <laughs> okay. Eat this, pal. Don't eat raw bear meat, people. All right, so we're going to sleep for five hours, but we'll put six. It's got the old symbol there of the rabbit. Interesting. Okay, it's morning now. Eat this. Eat that. And then we're going to be a bit heavy. Grab all of this stuff. I'm not sure I can carry much more. How many rabbit pelts? Oh, six. That's pretty good. Okay. And there are some rabbits around here too, so I might grab those too. Let's also have a quick look to see what's washed ashore. If anything. Sun's coming up. What have we got? We got... What's this? Uh, wood, fish. Grab the wood. Out of wood. I can't feel my feet. Can't feel my legs. Kaiser. So I think about when I hear that. To see how this uh, risk pans out. What have we got over here? There's a ruined torch before. And looks like we have a corpse, I think. Is that a wolf over there? Yeah, the couch and sweater. Give that to me. Is that a wolf? Is that a locker? I think it might be a locker. In which case, we should go get it. Sun's coming up, so we can see better. I'm still cold though. I need another night to recover some health because I'm moving about so much. It's a locker. No, it's a tr it's a chest. And then there's a locker. Wow. All right. Give me treasure. This will come in here. Driving gloves. Well, I don't need them, but at least it gives um, leather. 
Yeah, this is a locker. Very cold though, I don't really want to stay out too long. Nothing. Okay. I wish you could go up this way, but I don't think you can. You have to go all the way around. Oh yeah. Okay. Oh, now we're gonna go all the way around for sure. Mr. Bear is out. We don't need to kill him right now. Maybe later. Maybe next time and kill him just to have another bear uh, by the base. I wonder if you can scare... I have to hit him of course. Can you scare a bear away with the fire and arrows? I missed, so we'll never know. <laughs> I would like to go back right away, but because it's so cold, I'd like to warm up a bit first. So let's go in here first and warm up and then we'll head back. And by then we should have quite a few rabbit supplies. And then we can make the bear bedroll. We can repair some stuff. I would like to, maybe not now but later, would like to make the deer pants. And then have one combat pants on deer pants. Okay, let's uh let's just warm up in here. Don't think I can be bothered to drop stuff, I'm just gonna sleep like an hour. Warm up. There we go. Let's just see if we get parasites. <laughs> Oof, that was a mistake. And uh, let's go this way because then I can um, grab these rabbits here. If they're out. It doesn't actually look like they're out. Usually there's a few rabbits here. Got a few bucks as well. Okay. Oh, did I loot this guy? Must have, yeah. Okay, we're gonna head home now. Back to base. We got our rabbits. Uh, we got six. That's plenty. I need to get some deer as well. Though we can wait with that. That doesn't have to be done right now. Oh, I love this part of the day when it's like this. It's early morning and it's foggy, but the sun is low. You get this ghost scenery like this. This is incredible. All all the trees uh, look like this ethereal white like entity. That's amazing. And then as you get closer, they pop into view because of rendering distance, I guess. Even though I have it on the maximum, but they look so stunning like this. Really like it. Wolf over there, let's go this way. He's heading to where I just was, and then he's gonna follow me again. Not surprisingly. I probably could shoot him, but I probably would prefer using the distress pistol here. I had three stink lines, so you can detect me from really far away. Like, really far away. 
Should be more of them going for me. Okay, here. A little bit more. Now it's coming in. Uncertain. Because a wolf could come around the corner, even with the headset. It could miss it. But I need to have this ready. I think I'll open this mailbox here. Best thing I ever found in there is a rifle. Not a rifle. <laughs> a rifle bullet. Uh, well, I didn't love, but the best thing I ever found is a chocolate. Okay, we made it back. A little loop de loop. Oh, we got some rabbits, we got some saplings, and some other stuff. Oh, right. uh, this we can just drop. Drop that. Eat this. Ah, oh, my water. Yeah. Oh, great. Three charcoal, it's a bit much. <laughs> okay, let's uh, put some stuff. Let's get, grab these now. These, these are food now. Uh, we don't need this much charcoal, I don't think. Okay, so we got a bear hide. We have two of them, so we can make the bear sleeping bag. We got some saplings. Maple. A bunch of birch saplings. And is this cured? Almost cured. Okay, hold on. Drop all of this. Let me drop this. Make the bear hide satchel or something. Go from there. Uh, 1%. Oh god. Okay, well. Not so sure about that. <laughs> wood, we can drop the wood here. And here. And this is actually wood as well. We'll put a different book, I guess. We don't really need any of these. I guess we could read this, this I suppose. Uh, I'm carrying a bunch of stuff. Uh, Food, but that's okay. I can carry the food. This probably will get ruined, unfortunately. I guess we could drop a couple coals. Yeah. Okay, I think we got all that. Now we need to craft some stuff. We need to craft this. And we need to repair or craft new ones of that. I might start making this. How long has this got? Uh, the one is 93. Is that down? It's still going to take like a few hours. I think this is going to be destroyed by the time that happens. Also, I don't know if I have a sewing kit, do I? No, I don't. So I need to make that. That's something we can do, actually. Grab that. And then grab... These and then we'll make some hooks and stuff. The so lines, make four lines. I'm gonna use this to repair. And hooks. Oh my god, we didn't get parasites. <laughs> wow. 75% chance and we didn't get it. <laughs> That's uh, oops, no, 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 sorry. Not that was wrong, not that. This. Yeah, we didn't get parasites with 75% chance. That's really lucky. I was prepared now that I was going to get it. For some reason you can't make fishing tackles on the workbench. You have to do it outside. At least uh, it's a struggle to find them. I'm going to use these for sewing 
And also for fishing, if you want to do some fishing, of course. I'm just going to carry them around because they weigh like nothing. There we go. How's this looking? 97. Okay. Is there anything else that needs repairing? Uh, nothing urgent. I guess we could repair this. Yeah, so let's do that. Let's repair this one. I'm just going to see if I can get this to cure. But let's just eat this. And have a drink. And then just uh, read an hour of this useless book. Because why not? And let's see. 99%. Okay, well, another hour then. There you go. Cured. Okay. I'm cured. And this is 1%. Let's repair it. Repairs 50%. There we go. We fixed it. And now this one needs repairing, but... Uh, by the time that's all cured, it should be alright. So you have six of them. I'm gonna make this. And then that. But yeah, I think that's it for now, fellow survivors. Next episode we're going to do is we're going to create the bear bedroll. And we're going to repair some rabbit stuff. And then I think we're more or less done. We might go and get some deer, I think. Um... Maybe. I'm not sure though. Let's see. Do this. Create the bedroll. Always good to write down. Maybe hunt there. And then. Then head home to ML. Uh, this I took with me. That's no longer there. Uh, oh, okay. Well. Forest cave. <laughs> All right. Uh, so much stuff here, though. Um, food. Oh. Rabbits. Okay. Let's go outside. Actually, I tell you what we will do. We're gonna wait for morning. So. I'm just going to wait here. How much water do I have? That uh, should be enough. We also need to make water, actually. That's another thing. Make water. I'm going to wait until the next morning. This is wait until I can sleep for 10 hours. Cabin fear risk. Oh, that's great. I didn't really need that right now. But it's okay. And we don't need to use a herbal tea now because we're probably going to stay indoors for a bit. And then it will just heal by itself. Cabin fever is annoying though, but uh, should be okay. There we go. Let me sleep for 10 hours. I can't believe I didn't get parasites. That's ridiculous. I almost feel I should give it to myself just for the sake of it. Okay, there we are. Here we are then, in the dark, and I think that is a good time as any to call this episode. So Thank you so much for watching, cell. and Have now we got some recovery done, we got some rabbits, we got the bear hide, collected the stuff we needed, got some saplings. I looted more or less over the coastal highway now. There's a few smaller places I haven't been to. Uh, I also haven't been to the Aurora Mine, that's the main place I haven't been to. I don't think we're going to go to the Aurora Mine until after I get the radio or whenever I come back here next, I suppose. The next episode, we're going to make the bear bedroll, which is totally worth it in my opinion. It weighs more than the regular bedroll, but it gives you so much more security when traveling. It's really worth it, I think. Um, so we're gonna make that, and we'll probably do some more rabbit repairs as well. And uh, cabin fever could be an issue, but you can still craft with cabin fever, so I think it'll be all right. And then uh, we're gonna head home to Mystery Lake possibly via Pleasant Valley, we'll see. And then from there, we'll probably go to the far range 
Yes, but also we need to go the Broken Railroad. So I think the Far Range is still quite a few episodes away. But now we got everything, we got a good base going here too. We just really need some more... Um, some more deer hides really is the only thing missing. But now we're good. Yeah, with that said, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time survivors. Bye bye.